The Star Wars All Train Scout Transport or ATST Halloween costumes had LED Gatling guns and the CO2 powered streamer cannons, also with LEDs, all powered by a click PLC. On power up, the Gatling gun's center green LED flickers to life. When the first streamer cannon fires, the Gatling guns start to automatically rotate with the flashing LEDs. The streamer cannon also blinked LEDs for each press of the fire button. The streamer cannons used CO2 that was regulated down to about 45 psi. Streamers were stored in a carousel that was simply rotated into place for each pair of shots. Shoot the left and right cannon, rotate the carousel. Shoot the left and right cannon, rotate the carousel. The carousel has 8 pairs of shots for a total of 16 shots. The carousel was laser cut from plexiglass with 3 quarter inch PVC pressed into place. The system was powered by two 7.2 volt hobby RC batteries in series. That 14 volts was fed into a Rhino DC to DC converter to create the 24 volts needed by the Click PLC, the Nitro pneumatics, the left and right Gatling guns, and the Streamer Cannon LEDs. The costume was made entirely from white coroplast. That's that plastic cardboard yard sale signs are made from. The Gatling gun supports were made from black coroplast, which was laser cut at the local high school. That was folded and then had the PVC pipes inserted. The assembly was mounted on a frisbee and then mounted to the head. The hoofs were cut out of some old latex mattress foam using a hot wire cutter and the gears on the legs were milled out of sheets of hard pink insulation foam. The top patch was just an old frisbee and the turret shield was half of a cement form. Add some creative painting and you now have an awesome Halloween costume that's ready to go explore the forest moon of Endor.